daughter just called me, just told me it was on one. So you could come home? Yeah. <laughs> She's talking about the air conditioning and 7 News on your side gets results. The AC is back on at a Prince George's County high rise after the residents there reached out to us for help and we started asking the questions and that air was supposed to be on a week ago. Can but, you imagine? Yeah, but it wasn't on leaving people just sweltering in this heat. That frustrated resident reached out to 7 News on Facebook asking for help. 7 News Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell joins us with more on what renters need to know tonight. Brad? Yeah, you know what? We're getting a little bit of a sprinkle, a little bit of a storm passing over, cooling things down tremendously. No substitute for the air conditioning with the people that live in this building now have. But yeah, there is a place they can turn. The county is on their side as well. After a few days of temperatures hovering around 90 outside with no air conditioning inside, residents of the Ashton Heights apartments were fed up. It was terrible. Hmm? You couldn't even hardly sleep. It was terrible. How bad was it? How it hot? was extremely bad. It was zero to a hundred. It was a thousand. After they contacted seven news on your side, we started pushing for answers and contacted county inspectors. A new Prince George's County law matching one passed in Montgomery County last year requires air conditioning in rental units. The AC must be capable of cooling the inside temperature to 80 degrees or less from June 1 to September 30. So the County Department of Inspections took action. We actually went out the uh, first thing this morning to ensure that what they said they were going to do, they were doing. Uh, and we actually talked to the contractor, make sure that the work was being done. And, and, and they gave us an approximate time for completion. The owners and property managers also responded quickly to our questions. The owner sending a statement saying the safety and comfort of residents is their top priority and indeed, a repair crew working overnight brought the system online this morning. My daughter just called me, just told me it was on one. So you could come home? Yeah. <laughs> the residents relieved, though still a little hot under the collar. I think because you guys jumped on it, maybe that's probably why it got fixed. Thanks. Because, What's... hey, closed mouths don't get fed. Closed mouth doesn't get fed. Nope, she spoke up and she got results. Looking at the building live now, there are still a few windows on the upper floors that are open, but we have been told that the building is, in fact, cooling off. A county inspector came by here at about 4 o'clock this afternoon to make sure everything was still running. We're going to be back at 6 with precisely what you can do if you find yourself in a similar situation beyond reaching out to 7 News on your side in Suitland, Brad Bell, 7 News. But you can do that, and 7 News on your side started looking into this problem after that viewer contacted us. So if you have something you want us to look into, you can reach out to 7news at WJLA.com.